you? Hope you're doing great. Thank you for checking out this video. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. I thank you, thank you, thank you. So, anyway, uh, C8 Corvette. I ordered one back in August. This is 2020 right now. And I am told because I'm going through a smaller dealership uh, with only a few allocations at the most that, you know, they'll chug along, get it done, and get it to me. Hopefully by second quarter, uh, I'm going to think first part of third quarter of 2021. So I'm going to say June, July, come around summertime is when I may actually get it because GM is still backing up the date of when they're really going to begin getting these cars, you know, started. So at least the 2021 production and all that jazz. So anyway, all kinds of problems with the 2020 Corvette. And y'all are probably aware of a lot of the stories. But in this video, I'm going to do a couple of things. Tell you why I've waited and why I waited to order so late. Late. You know, not jumping the gun like everybody else. Oh, the C8, I've got to have it now. So who cares? Uh, they can all be the guinea pigs and work out the kinks. I'll wait. And so I'll give you all my reasons for that. And then I will tell you what I specced out and what I hopefully will be getting and what it will cost. So let's get into the video and have a little fun. Now, because I'm not overly wealthy, I find it to be very prudent to wait to buy the Corvette and let other people precede me and work out the kinks so that when I do get the Corvette, it will hopefully be in a little better shape. So the first thing I noticed was out on NHTSA, there were 16 complaints against the Corvette. And as I began going through these on that website, I noticed turn signals do not work. So, a little bit of fixing up there needed to be worked out. The other one was the vo broken valve springs. So, you've probably heard about that one. So, the valve springs work with the valves and the cams and all that stuff. They are vital to the proper operation of the car. That's a good kink to work out. Another problem, brakes. So, there has been some pretty bad brake issues with a few of these cars. So sure would like to get that worked out. So the next issue is the front hood or frunk would fly open at virtually any speed and you could actually open it while you're driving by hitting the key fob. So that could produce some bad results. Like to see that fixed. Another one was uh, there was a problem with the seat belts on a few of the cars and the interior rear view mirror for the LT1s, uh, pretty bad. So this needs to be resolved. Now I'm getting an LT2, tell you about that in a little while, but anywho, on the last one that I have that's important might be this front camera. Uh, from what I hear on the existing cars, there is not good indicator lines to tell you exactly how close or far you are from curbs or other objects. And so that seems to be a pretty good annoyance that needs to be fixed. Now one more problem that you may or may not have heard of is fitment issues, say for the interior, so fit and finish. So here is a 1 of 10 in the whole U.S., a rare bronze Corvette, beautiful car. I've actually met the owner of this car and talked to him and talked to the Chevy salesperson uh, involved with this car. And, you know, when he received it, the interior just was not fitted very well. Let's briefly review why I waited. Okay. It's the first completely retooled Corvette that everything is new. So, I waited. Now we are up to part two. So, first thing I did was look at my finances, making sure I could afford 
a C8 Corvette. So I know that I can spend X amount of dollars. I cannot spend $97,000 like for this orange Corvette. Very lovely, but I'm not paying over MSRP. I've looked at other Corvettes like the bronze, white, yellow, whatever. But my old C6 silver Corvette, I like it and that's what I'm used to. So I have ordered a hopefully blade silver, although this picture is not the blade silver, and with the racing stripes. Also ordered it with the natural Napa leather and so hopefully it'll look something like this and with all of the I guess specifications I'm looking at around seventy six thousand dollars total and so here again if this was a 2020 Corvette you'll see that there were not many of these ordered under blade silver and the natural uh, you know colored combinations for the for the exterior and interior all right so I am getting the 2LT with the Z51 package and that means I'm getting the Brembo brakes Z51 suspension Pilot Sport 4S high performance tires heavy duty cooling performance exhaust performance ratio rear axle and a limited slip differential. I'm also getting the GT2 seats and the front lift system. Here again all of this for a little over 76000 and I would presume with tax title license this ought to come up to around 83 to 85 grand minimum. This will answer the question as to why I waited what it's costing me, and just basically what's going on with me and my C8 Corvette. All right, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below. Thank you very much, and give me any of your thoughts as they come to mind. And with that, this video is over. And relax. Take it easy, and have a fantastic day. Bye.